good morning students today we can pass on to the next supplementary in the fourth unit with the photographer by stephen leacock now let us pray dear god almighty we thank and praise you for you take care of us always you always give us the right instruction to proceed our life perfectly still help and guide our children in their studies we ask this in the name of our lord jesus christ amen let us know about the author stephen leacock was a canadian teacher political scientist writer and humorist he received a fellowship in political economy and took his phd in 1903 sunshine sketches of a little town orcadian adventures with idle rich economic prosperity in the british empire the dawn of canadian history moonbeams from the larger lunacy the unsolved riddle of social justice my discovery of england wet wit and dry humor or some of his brilliant writings now take page number 132 in your textbook here is a story with the photograph by stephen leacock here the narrator visits a studio to have his photograph taken his experience with the professional photographer turns out to be an unforgettable one the narrator and the photographer or the characters of this story everyone has a desire to have a photograph of one's own is natural in having one's well one's self photograph a great deal of things one has to endure here stephen leacock drives this idea home through a comic sequence of actions in with the photographer the narrator visited his studio to get himself photographed the photograph studio was made up of two rooms one room was a waiting room and the other room was used for taking photographs the photographer had kept various ladies and children magazines of old times in the waiting room in the inner room there was a machine that could be rolled the photographer was a strange kind of man he was a spiritless person he was not happy in getting a customer he was a drooping man in a gray suit with the dim eye of a natural scientist the narrator had to wait for an hour the photograph adjusted the machine and rolled it to the center he took much time in arranging so while waiting for an hour leacock read these magazines and journals it is all about ladies girls and infants it is of olden days it didn't keep the current issue as the photograph is very conservative he loved only traditional way of life the narrator the photographer had rolled the machine into the middle of the room he covered with the black cloth attached to the camera he was quiet in there for some time he was waiting to take the photograph as he was very quiet leacock assumed that he was praying now the photographer was ready to take the photo of the narrator when the narrator was looked down by the photographer the photographer said that his face was quite wrong narrator accepted that he knew that his face was wrong he further added it would be better it was three quarters full he also discussed the various types of faces found in the world the narrator said that his face was his own only he had lived with it for 40 years and he knew its faults though it was not beautiful and wasn't made for him it was his face the only one that the author had he wanted something that would depict the face as god gave it to him the photographer criticized the writer's features in a very foolish manner he used a horse language and the manner was also wrong he took the author's head in his hands and twisted it sideways and looked at it he did like the author's head he asked the author 
to open the mouth and then to close it. He told the narrator's ears were burnt. He asked him to drip them a little more. He further asked him to roll his eyes under the eyelids, to put the hands on knees, to turn the face a little upward, to expand the lungs, to bend the neck, to contract the face. The narrator couldn't bear the insult any more. Suddenly, he started to rise from the seat. The photographer took his photograph. At that time, the photographer looked pleased as he had caught the features in a moment of animation. The photographer asked the narrator to come to the studio on Saturday in order to check the proof of his photograph that was taken by the photographer. The narrator came on on every Saturday. He was shocked to see the distorted picture of his face. The photographer had completely changed his features. His eyes were retouched, his eyebrows removed, his mouth twisted, but his ears were intact. It had no likeness with his face. It was seeming as if it was the photograph of any other person. The photographer says different process such as dipping the negative in sulfide and sulfide. The narrator was completely disturbed. He thought that the purpose of photo was wasted. The narrator wanted something that his friends might keep after his death in remembrance. The photograph never looked like, looked like the author's face. The purpose of the photograph was completely wasted as the man in the photograph was quite different than himself. The photograph had made changes in the narrator's face to improvise his photograph and to make him appear more photogenic. The narrator loved his original face rather than the altered one. He asked the photograph to keep the photo with himself and he could edit the photo as he liked the narrator said in an angry voice to take his negative and dip it in sulfide, bromide, oxide and cowhide. The narrator was totally upset with the photographer as the latter totally replaced his identity. The narrator left the studio in tears. From this story, we learn the theme of insecurity, anger, appearance, confidence, acceptance and control. Thank you, children.